Welcome back to the channel where speed meets humor at the crossroads of oh no, and what were they thinking? Today, we're dissecting the roller coaster ride of the Williams F1 team, a saga filled with twists, turns, and the kind of financial heartache that could make a Wall Street trader wince. Grab your helmets and your wallets, folks, because we're about to embark on a high speed journey through ambition, misfortune, and a budget that's bleeding faster than a Formula One car zipping through the Monaco Tunnel. Imagine setting sail on the Titanic, knowing full well there aren't enough lifeboats, and then deciding to speed through an iceberg field. That's Williams at the start of this F1 season. With only two chassis to their name, they decided to play a high-stakes game of chicken with fate. Alex Albon and Logan Sargent were given the keys to these precious metal steeds, only to find out that, perhaps, they were riding bulls in a china shop instead. The team's nightmare began with not one, not two, but three spectacular crashes. It was as if someone up there was playing a game of celestial bumper cars with the Williams team as the unwilling participants. First, Albon introduces his car to a wall in Australia, in a get-to-know-you session gone horribly wrong. Then Sargent, not wanting to be left out, decided to test the aerodynamic limits of his car's parts in a separate incident. The result? A masterclass in how to convert a high-speed vehicle into a very expensive pile of scrap metal, not once, but three times over. Let's rewind to before the season started. Williams' preparation for the season could have been a plot for a sitcom, complete with laugh tracks. Outdated processes? Check. Limited facilities? Check. A significant overhaul in car management with the same old tools? Double check. It was the perfect storm, brewing a concoction that no amount of optimism could sweeten. Each crash brought with it a cascade of costs, mounting a financial burden that reads like the national debt of a small island nation. We're talking about a repair bill that soared into the millions, a figure so high it's giving Everest a complex. With F1 now under a budget cap, every penny counts, and Williams was spending them like they were going out of fashion. The result? A budget so stretched, it's thinner than the patience of fans waiting for a Williams podium finish. The F1 calendar, in its wisdom, decided to take the teams on a world tour that would make Phileas Fogg balk. With races spaced across continents, Williams' damaged cars racked up air miles, contributing to a logistics nightmare that would give FedEx a run for its money. The cars were traveling more than a globe-trotting influencer, except they were doing it with broken wings and bruised egos. Through the clouds of despair, a glimmer of hope shone for Williams. Despite their series of unfortunate events, the team showcased a resilience worthy of a Hollywood underdog story. The car, though a frequent flyer in the repair shop, showed promise. It danced through corners with grace, a marked improvement over last year's model. However, like Icarus flying too close to the sun, its newfound strength was also its Achilles heel, struggling with balance and traction issues that left it thirsting for points. As we look ahead, the question remains, can Williams turn their fortunes around? The team has faced adversity with the stoicism of a British guard, but as the saying goes, you can't polish a crash. The focus now shifts to salvaging the season, a task as daunting as cleaning up after a toddler's birthday party. With development budgets slashed, Williams is in a race against time and finances, a race just as fierce as any Grand Prix. In closing, the tale of Williams' season is a mosaic of ambition, hope, misfortune, and resilience. It's a story that teaches us about the highs and lows of pursuing excellence in the face of adversity. As they navigate this stormy season, one can only hope that calm waters lie ahead. For Williams, the journey continues, a testament to their unyielding spirit and determination to overcome. And for us, the fans, it's a reminder of the passion and perseverance that fuel the heart of Formula One. So, here's to Williams, may their repairs be swift, their races be smooth, and their spirits remain unbroken. After all, in Formula One, every setback is just a setup for a comeback. Until next time, keep the rubber side down and the humor up, folks.